Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to export your tracks from Logic and import them into a new session in Pro Tools. This is useful when sending a session to a mixing engineer, musician, or producer that works with Pro Tools. First, make sure your mix does not clip the master fader or stereo out. This will ensure proper levels when opening the session in Pro Tools. In order to check that, I'm just going to play a loud section in Logic and check the levels on the stereo out. OK, everything seems to be good. Now, if you have any audio tracks, make sure you have all of the necessary fades and crossfades added, as any clicks and pops caused by bad edits will be rendered into the file and become much more difficult to remove later on. Also, keep in mind that the reverb tracks and multi-instruments will not be separately exported unless you bring them to the edit window. In order to do that, open the mix window. In this case, I already have it open. And then select all of the reverb tracks and also stems from multi-instruments that you would like to export separately. In this case, I have the ambience, the large plate, large studio, which are the reverbs that I'm using. And then I also have a drums instrument that generated several stems. In this case, the snare, claps, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and select those as well. Now that I selected all of the effects tracks and also the sub parts of my drums instrument, I can right click them and select create track. Now they're all going to be added to the edit window. Next step is to trim back any extra space that you may have at the end of the session. Next, select all of the tracks in the edit window. In this case, I'm not going to select the main drums, as this will duplicate the instrument. I would have one track with all of the drums, and then all of the separate kicks, snare, toms, hi-hats, etc. So I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck the drums and only have the separate parts. Then go to File, Export, Tracks as Audio Files. Choose the right format, AIFF or WAV would be fine. Beat depth, try to keep it the same as you were working with in Logic, in this case 24-bit, and then normalize, select overload protection only. Then you can customize how your tracks are going to be named. Now, one of the things that is really important is direct Logic to the right folder. Otherwise, it's going to add all of those new audio files into the default folder. So I'm going to save it under Others, Create a new folder and name it Logic Files. And then I'm going to click on Export. This may take a little while. Next, create a new Pro Tools session and preferably use the same sample rate that you were using in Logic. And then name it accordingly. In this case, I'm just going to name it Logic import demo. Then go to File, Import, Audio, or Command-Shift-I. Go to the folder, and import all of the audio files. Make sure to select Copy instead of Add so that the audio files are imported within the audio files folder within your Pro Tools session folder. Let's click on open. And voila! Here is your session with all of the separate files. So you have your reverb. You have the snare separate. And when you play back all of the audio files, 
It should sound exactly as it was sounding in Logic. 